the app is working and I was able to check in to go see Generation Wealth, which is a documentary. This is from the same filmmakers as The Queen of Versailles, which I love that. Have you seen that? If you haven't seen it, you should totally check it out. It's a trip. <laughs> I got a ticket, I'm in the theater. Do, 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 do. I feel like I just won the lottery. I'm paying $9.95 a month, hoping that not only is my app gonna work, but that I'm actually gonna be able to get a ticket to the movie that I wanna go see. <laughs> Written and directed by Lauren Greenfield. Fascinating. She's taken her life's body of work over the last 25 years and compiled it in a way to do like this sociological experiment of sorts, taking people that she's interviewed along her career and then followed up with them. She's been fascinated with wealth and the accumulation of wealth and what wealth does to you at every level. Like she did this whole thing with teenagers in the 80s, living in the Reagan era, and the conception of wealth and the idea that more money is more power is more everything. Greed is good, as Gordon Gecko says. Not only did she take a look at these people's lives and who they were and what they've become, but she also took a look at her own life and her own obsession with maybe not money, but her career and the sacrifices that she's had to make with her parents, with her kids, with her husband. Fascinating look at different people and how they not only acquire wealth, but they are thinking that they're acquiring happiness. I love it. She looked at at a porn star, she looked at a rapper, she looked at a little girl that was on like tiaras and tatas. No, that's inappropriate. Toddlers and tiaras, magnifying glass on these people's desire for money and what that's gotten them over the years. Whether they achieved fame, success, happiness, more money. There was kind of a moral at the end of the film, so I'm not quite sure how much of that was manipulated. How many of her subjects did she choose in order to achieve this moral? which made this a little bit. So for that reason, on a Cami scale from one to 100, I give this film a 72. Much higher than the critics gave it. The critics gave it like a 50% or something like that. I thought it was a really fascinating study. I thought it was kind of cool. Stream this. Hey, I'm just excited and happy that I was able to get into the movies today. I'm halfway through this adventure. Thank you so much for watching one movie every day, maybe, if I'm lucky. <laughs>